I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back to the other side of the dash and if you're new here Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and comment below and Today I wanted to come on and just do a very quick wig review video I've been meaning to do these uh, a lot because I buy a lot of hair if you guys have followed me any amount of time You guys know that I suffer from alopecia and I will be doing a podcast on that this Sunday so um, Yeah, so I do a lot of wigs and I mean to actually do the review and show you guys how I install or how they look or whatever. It's just sometimes I just don't feel like it. So, or I forget. I just shower and I washed and conditioned and oiled my hair, put a treatment on it and I uh, wrapped it. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and try. I bought a couple actually new wigs, but I'm going to do this one for now because uh, I am going to be giving a life update probably next week uh, just to update you guys on what's getting ready to happen in my life and so I need something that's going to uh, look good but uh, stand the test of time because I'm going to be out of commission uh, health wise for about eight weeks. I think you guys probably know already what, the, what I'm getting at but I'll save that for the other video. At any rate, I'm going to try one of the wigs that I ordered and I ordered from Amazon so you guys know. I get my uh, wigs from Amazon or Sam's Beauty. Every now and then, I'll get them at Shop Hair Wigs. Uh, I have not graduated to Love Me and all that. You know, look, <laughs> that look, that's that's way above my pay grade. So um, I am going to try. You guys know I love the Janet Collection Natural Me wigs. Uh, I wear a lot. I've been wearing them for, I didn't think I would like them, but I've been wearing them for a few years now, the different uh, variations of them. And if you guys look in uh, my last video, you guys will see, you know, that particular one that I love so much. Uh, I think it's called Angie. And you can find Angie, kind of, but you can only, if you find it, you only find it in the 1 and the 1B. And I want it in the... Uh, the 1B33 or something like that for, you know, the spring and summer and I cannot find that anywhere. So, um, I'm going to try the, uh, this new wig and you guys forgive my fingernails. I was out in the garden and I just got lost and didn't put on my gloves and I put down black mulch. I have tried bleaching, uh, my fingernails, uh, even to the point where some of them have broken off. So I'm gonna probably bleach them again because I can't go around looking like this. And um, anyway, y'all, ignore my nails. Um, so the wig I am going to be uh, reviewing today, I actually have not taken it out the box yet. I took it out the bag um, and it kind of, Y'all, the only thing I hate about buying wigs from Amazon is you never know if somebody returned it, they wore it or whatever. Whereas the other places, I mean, you're not 100% sure either, but I just know that uh, Amazon has a really open return policy. So anyway, um, the wig we're doing today is, like I said, Janet Collection Natural Me Lace Wig. It's 100% premium fiber, and today's wig is called Kiara. She's in a number two. Um, I wanted to go lighter, but uh, the ones they had, I don't, that burgundy, I, I, I just can't get with it. Um, if you guys look at my past video, I'll try to link it up here or up there where I did the bug wig. And it looks cute for the moment. I just can't get into it right now, maybe later. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. Again, she's in a two. And she looks really natural. So comes in the package here. Like I said, I already took it out of the plastic. It is wrapped in a hair nut. 
hair nut <laughs> in a hair nut uh which most wigs are anyway but i'm looking at this it's kind of light i like it i still want it lighter but i think it'll do for now i'm liking it so far you guys so it comes uh with the you know the paper and, and things in it to protect it so if you order a wig from amazon make sure you say every last bit down to that little uh this little thing right here with the um i guess it's to keep it fresh or whatever because some uh, sellers on there will tell you they want it returned to what you know so make sure so there's no problem with the refund i know when you go to beauty shops they will not refund they will not no refund so that's why i don't go to beauty shops anymore i go to amazon or uh sam's beauty for the most part um, and i've never had to return a wig to sam's beauty i've had to return several to amazon not because uh of anything other than i see a color i like and it's kind of hard to see the color online and when i get it and i'm like oh no i don't like that so anyway so here is kiera so kiera i like the curls you guys know i'm a curl girl look i'm a curl girl big i i belong in texas don't i i'm a big a big hair curly girl Maybe when I lose some weight, I'll go back to just the, you know, the small hair. But right now, <laughs> big hair, don't care. But she's very beautiful. This is a, a color two again. And it is so beautiful. So um, here you got a comb in the front, which I'm going to remove. You got two combs in the front. Uh, or is that the side? That's the side. So the front and the side. So there's the part there. You guys can see that um and so there's a comb i don't like the combs because again i have alopecia and my hair is really thin on the sides uh and it pulls and it hurts so bad um and also it bumps up when you have to in my opinion so i i only want the only one i leave in is in the back is because my hair is thicker in the back so i i uh i don't have it today but i normally uh braid it cornrow it you know sideways and that way I can just clip the back uh, comb on the back. So that's not an issue. It's just these other ones that are usually in the front and on the side. So I will be getting rid of that. So uh, you have lace here. Uh, unfortunately, with getting the cheaper wigs. Uh, oh, I've had some cheaper wigs that have the soft lace. This lace is not soft. But uh, I tend to uh, put oils and things on it to kind of soften it up. Or at least to where it's not hurting my front of my skin. Plus, I'm going to be wearing uh, this thing here. So this goes, it's a wig band. It goes around, um, around your, you know, around your temple area. And it has a, a lace piece in it. Um, I, you guys, I tell I've used it before. It's got uh, hairspray and stuff in it. But I'll be using that so it doesn't hurt as much. And I'll be using a, uh, uh, y'all, I'm, look. The thing that they put around their head after they put the the stuff the gel on that for the edges to slay or all that i got that <laughs> and i saw a, a fellow youtuber uh she has a good channel if i can remember to put her information below i will but she does great wig reviews um but she uses this stuff look y'all yeah, know i love my got to be right this stuff right here look you're going to have to scrub, not scrub hard, just all you need to get this off is water. Uh, a towel, kind of like do a little friction over it. But look, when I put this on, this thing does not move. So um, I like this stuff. And I got this from Amazon. If I can remember, I will link it below. And what else am I going to use? I'm going to use scissors. And I'm going to use uh, my rat tail comb to kind of bring out the edges to make them look a little bit more natural. I'm going to use a brush. Which one, whichever one comes in handy. And I think that's it for now. Because I'm not going to do a, I'm not going to do a complete install until, um, probably next week. Because like I said, I'm going to be out of commission health-wise for six to eight weeks. So, um, I'm going to need something that's going to be able to work for me. So, I'm going to cut this off. And only if you guys are thinking about returning it, only cut the very tip off it, of it. So when you put it back on and return it, you can tie it back again. So um, just make sure you keep everything just in case. And what I always do is I keep my paper. It may seem a little much, but I keep my paper uh, for my wigs and my packaging for at least about 
15 days after that i know whether or not i'm going to um, return it or not and plus i think each uh person even though the process on amazon is very easy it's fairly easy but um you know each vendor or each seller might have you know its own guidelines she has to be returned within seven days 15 30 or whatever the case may be so okay so let me go ahead and cut out these combs and I usually just cut it out with a, a nail trimmer here so I just take them out and like I said I leave the back one in but I, I can't have them around the sides and the fronts okay I've got the combs out now a couple things one uh, if you're not sure if you're going to return it or not don't take the combs out um, and another reason why you, another uh, instance where you may not want to take the combs out is if you just are going uh, on an event or whatever, going to an event and you just want to have a different hairstyle and just come home and take it off, you know, to me, you know, this is a lifestyle for me, unfortunately. Um, it's the hands I was dealt with, so I'm making the most of it. So, um, but it's been sitting here for a couple weeks, so I already know I'm going to keep it. So, and, and looking at it, it looks very beautiful. Um, the only thing that I wish that Janet would do is, so you guys see here, the curls are beautiful, right? So right here, it's got a more natural, like kind of straight, no curls. I wish she would curl it all because what we end up doing anyway is, uh, you know, fluffing it out ourselves because after we cut the lace off and pull the edges out, trim the, uh, the edges, uh, with it being straight, it looks a little more frizzier than it has to. I might end up having to put some uh, mousse on it. We'll see. But anyway, let me go ahead and let's see. Let's put it on first. And oh, I did mention that um, it's got the two black, um, the uh, band in the back. I'm going to tighten it a little bit. It seems a little loose for my head. I don't know. I guess I got a big head, y'all. <laughs> Do I have a big head? So I'm going to adjust those. So I also want to uh, keep in mind that if you are installing this with glue, I'm not doing glue. Um, I don't do glue often because um, it irritates my scalp. The hair irritates my scalp depending on the type of hair. If I leave it on too long and if you glue it on, um, it's hard to get off. That's why I use stuff like this because it's wa water soluble. Um, and it, it will come off easily. Uh, I remember uh, when I was in North Carolina and we had come down to Texas to uh, pick our house to be built. Um, I had installed one with glue. With that uh, glue, if I can remember, I'll put it up here somewhere. And uh, that glue is not going anywhere. It, look, it, the water ain't going to do anything. And my scalp was burning, but I couldn't get the wig off my head. I'm in the shower and I'm looking, I'm looking. So I finally, my husband looked at, looked up online. I didn't read. This was why it's important to read instructions and research things, uh, which I normally do. But come to find out, there is a, a bond, a, a, a bond remover that comes with that that I didn't get because I didn't research enough. But I also found out that you can get it off with alcohol. So he's going across the street to the, uh, from the hotel to the CVS, and I'm pouring alcohol on my head. It was just a, a disaster, and it took. It took a couple months for my head to uh, heal because it was so irritated. Another thing I don't like in here are these tags. And I understand why they put them there, but I don't um, like them. Looking at the back, it says the material is Kankalon, Toyokalon, Japanese origin, made in Indonesia. So I cut that tag off. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Another thing I wanted to point I wanted to make with uh, if you're going to install this, uh, make sure the bands in the back that I just showed you guys are loose. Uh, otherwise, you will find yourself with an install wig and a, he a headache because sometimes those bands can be too tight. So I kind of do them loose. So I have the um, I have the wig rip in. So I make sure that the lace on the wig grip is matching the lace on my wig so so what do you guys think so far i think it's cute what do you guys think i 
like it. So let me go ahead and, because I don't want to be doing this all day. And normally, and I'm going to, I'm just not for the sake of this video, I um, will pluck the, uh, the part just to make it look more natural, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, you see here, looks like they have a little baby hair. And yeah, they have baby hair on this one. I don't do my baby hair like everybody else, all that, you know, that I'm too old for that look. I'm an old lady. But I do is, um, I will, if it's too straight, I will get a hot iron or flat iron and I will crimp it and flat iron burns it so it makes it kind of look like it's nappy. So it makes it look a little bit more natural. But since this is already natural looking material, I'll just cut it with the razor to the, you know, to the desired amount and I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Make sure I um, don't cut off any of the important baby hairs. I should have grabbed me some clips, but I didn't. So let me see. Some bobby pins in here. Okay, so first I'm going to start right here. Like I said, this lace is hard. It does not feel nice. So make sure you have something on under it. And try not to cut the one thing I found, I used to do it all the time, and it, it was hard to try to disguise it. Try not to cut the lace all, you know, like straight across. Because do you have a straight across hairline? Or there's some bumps and divots in it somewhere. Same thing on the side. And I'm not going to do it again for the sake of this video, but what I usually do is, see where this is right here? I usually cut that all the way off uh, because I have hair on the sides and I just kind of blend my real hair into it so you can't tell anyway. So, um, But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to cut it off. Lord, let me cut on this side while I got the bobby pins. And then I will move them. And a lot of people too, they will use the, uh, the, the blade to cut it. So it's really up to you. Just be very careful. So you can snag it sometimes if, if it depends. I just like to use the scissors. And you might have to do two rounds to cut because what I try to do with the first cut is not to get too close to the edge because I want to see what I need to cut and what I need to leave. So if you guys can see right here, it's lifted. I usually cut all that off and just pull my hair out and, you know, because that don't look right. Okay, so I got most of it uh, cut. It's not cut completely like I want to. Want it. I am... So I'm not going to actually use this because later on I'm going to go back and cut this off because I do have somewhere to go today. So I want to kind of pluck, pluck out the, um, now I'm looking though, this has a little shedding. I don't like that. What I'll probably do is put some mousse on it. There's a little shedding, but mm, I know I don't like shedding hair, but I might be able to control it with um, mousse. Probably just needs to fluff it out a little bit. Then pull my hair out and pull this to the side. 
cut that some more and then pull my hair out and then pluck the um because you guys can see you can hardly see it and that's not cool um a lot of like people like to put makeup in it i don't like to do that because it looks red and i, I don't like doing that so i mean to each his or her on her own it just is not for me yeah see i need to cut that so it's not flipping up and then once i put the the uh this here on it it'll what's left will stay down um once i pull my hair i can just wrap it around and just it blends in and it looks natural so I, I always like to do the wind test you know when you go outside the wind blows your hair blows back so if you cut it right and put that on there you just look look so i might trim a little bit in the front here go ahead and see if i can do that now do a little bit more later but I like that over my eye what do you guys think you guys like it it needs some playing with which I'll do a little later but um let me trim this one And when you guys are trimming it, I always suggest trimming it long, long, am I saying it right? Trim it, so if you want it up here, trim it down here first. Because it springs and you might cut it, it might be too short. The way you can work it your way up, it's better to be too long than be too short. Because once it's too short, there's nothing you can do about it. So, um, y'all, you know what? I'm going to start making my own wigs. I think I can do it. Y'all think I could do it? I think I could do it. But at any rate, you guys, I'm done showing you guys this. I like the wig. Um, if I can remember to give an update on the shedding, um, I will do so. Um, I won't figure that out until I finish trimming it and. This is gonna have to get cut. A lot of this right here is gonna have to get cut. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and do it right now. And don't cut straight across. You'll regret it. It will stay that way, especially on a synthetic wig, unless you continually brush it out. Ooh, it hair everywhere. That looks a little better. I might still. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh Lord. I might still cut some of this. And I might still do some more trimming off off camera, but so So even like this, I pulled it up. A lot of people wear their wigs on the forehead. Look, embrace your big head. Pull that wig back to your hairline. But see, when I had it down, you could see the lace a lot. Now that I pulled it up here a little bit, you can hardly see the lace here. So at any rate, you guys, I like this wig. I might, if I can remember to update you guys on uh, the shedding on it. That's the only issue I'm seeing right now. If that is even an issue, it could be because it's just out the back, out the, you know, the paper and it just needs to be fluffed up a little bit. But um, it's it's not as soft as I like it, but it's doable. I mean, um, I'll link it here. It, I'll link it below. Um, I believe I only paid forty five for this one um, on Amazon. It's a synthetic wig. It's Kiara. Again, it's number two Janet Natural Me Wig Collection. It's a, a lace part, so it's not complete front lace. Uh, but I like it. It's going to serve its purpose. And if it does well, then I will try to find a lighter color and rock this this spring and summer. Um, depending on if I find another one that I like. But anyway, so here we go.
So there you have it guys, again, it's Janet, natural hairline and natural yakki texture, natural me lace wig in Kiara and the color is two. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment below and I'll be happy to bring them to you. With that being said, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and this has been The Other Side of the Dash.